Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Here's your stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and news report for Friday, February 12th. Before this video starts, my good friend, Bailey David, is giving away a $50 Amazon gift card on her YouTube channel, it is called Bailey David. Subscribe to her YouTube channel to enter her $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. Her channel is linked in the description below. According to the House of Representatives proposal, the $400 weekly payment would start after March 14th and would pick up when the current $300 weekly supplement ends. This means there will not be retroactive payments early in the year. Chair of the Senate Finance Committee, Senator Ron Wyden, is very supportive of a larger subsidy of $600 a week. Senator Wyden said, I am going to fight like hell to get six. So, will Americans receive $400 a week or $600 a week? Since the beginning of the pandemic, many Republicans have opposed a $600 weekly payment. The CARES Act offered a $600 supplement for about four months through the month of July. According to several Republican lawmakers, larger benefits would keep people from returning to work. What are your thoughts everyone? Leave them in the comments below. But according to several studies, the $600 weekly payment did not cause a rise in the unemployment rate. According to economists, it likely increased employment. Since last summer, the United States economy has improved. However, some economists say that means enhanced benefits may create a larger disincentive for workers not to return to work. An economist at the University of Chicago said, I think there's good reason to think the disincentive effect will be larger in 2021 than in 2020. But I absolutely think there should be another unemployment supplement in 2021. Benefits should phase out as more Americans get vaccinated he stated. Okay everyone, so Democrats and the Biden administration are pushing for a $1.9 trillion economic relief package right now. More unemployment benefits may be on the way for millions of Americans. With new leg salation, workers could receive a larger amount of jobless benefits per week. Also, unemployment benefits could be extended for several more months. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she expects a new relief bill to be signed into law by mid-March. Democrats are trying their best to pass legislation through the budget reconciliation process, which is a measure that would not require GOP support. What do you think everyone? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I was definitely hoping that a bill would be signed into law before the end of February, but it seems like that is not going to happen. But the amount and duration of jobless benefits are uncertain. Democrats have unveiled several other proposals in the past. According to experts, based off of previous proposals, Democrats would likely increase unemployment benefits by at least $400 a week. As well as extend them at a minimum through the month of August. I really hope that Democrats do actually increase the amount of unemployment benefits Americans receive. Americans would definitely appreciate more relief. Back in December, extra benefits offered by the $900 million stimulus package. Unfortunately, those extra benefits are scheduled to end after mid-March for some workers and after April 11th for others. If lawmakers do not pass a bill before then, 11 million unemployed Americans would lose income support. But, President Joe Biden has already proposed increasing jobless benefits by $400 a week, which would bring the total payment to about $739 a week for the average worker. According to Labor Department data, President Biden also said he supports extending benefits through September. Now if House Democrats use the budget measure called reconciliation, they would not need Republican votes in favor of a stimulus package to pass it. However, House Democrats intend to increase the minimum wage to $15 per hour can lead to some issues. Senator Joe Manchin has already criticized that part of the bill, and one Democratic defector could decrease the bill's chances of passing. As of right now, it is unclear how much money Americans are going to receive from jobless benefits. But it is very likely that the Biden administration and Democrats will increase unemployment benefits by $400 a week. Now, the draft proposal issued by the House Ways and Means Committee is very similar to Biden's plan. However, in their proposal, unemployment benefits would end on August 29th. That is the end of the video everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below for more daily stimulus check updates. Don't forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel. 